surprise that has come in the IIP numbers, and that is that capital goods have contracted by 8.2%. We have never seen such an ugly number uh, in terms of capital goods contraction. We have always been in the investment cycle. So does it mean that the investment cycle is now quite clearly petering out and we may continue to see negative numbers on capital goods? That's what we ask Mr. Ravi Kumar, the Chairman and Managing Director of BHEL, who joins us right now. Mr. Ravi Kumar, thanks much for joining us again. Uh, would you really worry about, not at your company level, but at an industry level, this minus 8.2 or contraction of 8% in uh, capital goods output? Would you worry it would become a trend for some time? No, I don't think so because, you know, the numbers are taken on year to month to month basis on over the previous year. Mm -hmm. So the reference of the previous year also has to be taken. And in capital goods, I have always said that it should be quarter wise, it should not be on the month wise figures because it takes about six to seven months to finish a product or to finish a project milestone. So it is necessary that we should take the quarter wise figures. The February figures have been excellent and last year March figures have been excellent and that's why you have got a negative figure as far as March is concerned. So that should not be a trend. I don't think that is a trend and we should not worry about it. Yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Kumar, before uh, I ask you an IIP, uh, just a small question on your own uh, business. Uh, uh, your technical collaboration with Siemens for nuclear turbine manufacturing, uh, we hear that uh, there is some kind of a regulatory hurdle that the German government uh, may reject that. Uh, could you confirm or you know, tell us what the status is? And if, do if that does happen, what's your option? No, as far as uh, up to 540 megawatt we are already doing, you know, it is in-house manufacture that we have already absorbed the technology from Siemens and we have recently done a boiler, uh, done a turbine and a boiler for uh, FBTR, that is a phosphate test reactor, for phosphate reactor at Kalpakam. So, but that should not worry us. But beyond that 700 and 1000 megawatt sets, we, are, we have a collaboration with Siemens. If Siemens doesn't come up, we are already taking up with other manufacturers and we will be coming out with a collaboration agreement with other manufacturers within probably within two to three months. So uh, are you saying, sir, that uh, uh, that you do not expect the German government to give the regulatory approval? Or, or do you know at which date that approval will come through? Uh, could you give us some timeline? And what is the status of that approval? No, as far as, you know, we have already backup arrangements in place. If uh, there is a problem with the German approval for nuclear turbines, we are going ahead. We have already given an expression of interest along with NPCIL, and we have shortlisted already a candidate for that. I think we should be, in case the German firm does not come up, we are ready with an alternative. So you are confirming that the German government is not giving approval for the Siemens project? Not yet. They are not given yet, as said. But I think they will give in a short time. But if it doesn't come also, we are not in a problem because we are already tied up for 700,000 and 1,600 with other manufacturers. Well, let me get back uh, one more question on the IIP numbers, Mr. Ravi Kumar. While you uh, sound confident and, or at least you don't uh, want to take uh, 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 an extrapolation of uh, capital goods output for future months from what has happened in this month, nevertheless, would you not say that the total amount of CapEx, uh, uh, CapEx uh, announcements that we are hearing have declined? Do you see on the ground uh, fewer tenders coming by? Would you worry that uh, the total amount of uh, capital goods demand in the system has uh, declined over the last six Six months? I don't think so because you know India has got such a huge demand and supply gap in infrastructure whether you take road or whether you take port or whether you take electricity or whether you take anything in infrastructure there is a airports everything there is a big demand supply gap so I don't think that there will be any demand constraint as far as uh, this sector is concerned. If at all, you know, there may be a constraint, it may be in award of contracts, you know, there may be, you know, recently some road pro projects had to be postponed and all that. So, there may be some constraints regarding execution only. But as far as the uh, demand is concerned, it is quite high in India. And I do not foresee any letdown in that. And if you see the electricity, it has grown up very well last month. And April also, we saw the figures, it is quite good. And we have 85% to 90% load up. PLF in all the thermal power stations. If the monsoon does well, there will be a good growth in electricity also. Uh, sir, just from a base effect perspective, uh, as you see May right now and then going into June, uh, are you seeing the same volume of orders holding up as compared to April and perhaps as compared to May last year? Uh, what's the kind of momentum you're seeing uh, in each of these areas? And if you could also comment on the, your input costs, have they been going down or have they started to pick up at the moment? 
So there are, the, I mean, to, the first question regarding the orders are concerned, there is a trend towards cap, the private sector orders we are getting now more, basically because the private sector players are coming to us, that those who have gone to Chinese, they have come back to us. The second, as far as the government orders are concerned, recently there is a, you know, because of the elections, there have not been some orders in the last two months, because the election code is there up to 16th. Okay. So we are likely to receive some orders after 16th. Okay. As far as the raw material prices, it has come down, mm -hmm. and definitely as a percentage of we are expecting throughout the year a 200 basis point reduction in material cost. Okay. Mr. Ravi Kumar, thank you very much for joining us with your thoughts. So, BHL's Ravi Kumar uh, doesn't expect that capital goods contraction will be too much of a trend from here on. But we have someone now from the consumer goods and perhaps representing much la the larger voice of industry, Rahul Bajaj or Bajaj Auto, joins us on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Bajaj, thanks much for joining us. Uh, consumer goods, uh, actually consumer durables, have done reasonably well. There is an 8% uptick, an 8% growth. It is the, uh, the fastest growing sector actually uh, in the IIP basket. Uh, uh, would you say this the situation has changed on the ground. Uh, do you see an actual uptick? For the auto industry, I do see an improvement as a whole. There are individual companies who are not doing as well as some other companies. But uh, let's not talk of individual companies. Uh, commercial vehicles, not as well as cars, and cars, not as well as two-wheelers. Mm -hmm. But in totality, there is growth uh, uh, in the month of April. And... Uh, apart from this March figures. Uh, so overall it's good. I think the... Um, I, I don't have a crystal ball and I'm not an economist, uh, so I can't say what will happen in the coming months. But I still maintain my general overall view that uh, for in industry, and that's why the IIP mm -hmm. figures during the calendar year 2009, we will continue to have a difficult situation and these will depend, amongst other things, on the new government, uh, its composition, how stable. Uh, it could be a major factor. It will depend on monsoons. It will depend on international developments, which are going to be still difficult. You see rays of hope, but uh, everybody says 2009 is going to be difficult. So our exports, including two-wheelers, three-wheelers, including Bajaj Auto's exports, we are hoping a little improvement from June onwards, but... Uh, uh, overall, I think uh, export is an area of concern because that's not dependent on us but on international development. And uh, finally, of course, for consumer durables and vehicles, credit. Uh, now I think uh, rural areas, normally customers are less dependent on credit, so sales are good there. But subject to monsoons and if uh, in the urban areas where the customer of, say, two-wheelers wants credit, these are still not available and especially not at a reasonable rate of interest. Uh, Mr. Bajaj, yeah, you, you mentioned you were not an economist, but uh, obviously there are a few people who have uh, the kind of experience you've seen of uh, market cycles or you know, industrial cycles. Uh, what do you feel? Uh, w when does this end and when do we go back to the run rate we had uh, perhaps last May or last April? And what are the trigger points you would be watching out for, apart from data, from your experience? What do you watch out for saying, OK, now we're back on track and we perhaps will be running? Well, you are uh, giving me more credit than I deserve, but thank you very much for that. Uh, yes, I've had a long, long experience, but as a businessman, as an executive, as an industrialist, and it is different. In some ways, it's more perceptive, I believe, than an academic economist uh, or academic. But uh, there are certain things which they know and which we cannot know, at least I do not know. Having said that, uh, I think, uh, as I said earlier, Indian recovery financial sector was nowhere near as bad as the international global sector financial area and the industrial sector what we call the real economy and mm -hmm. the financial economy what they call wall street and main street in america here we would have recovery in both before the u.s and europe recovers before the developed world recovers which could be sometime in 2010 i still believe early or middle is a question in my mind if you listen to nuriel rubini <laughs> it's very tough if you listen to maybe larry summers of uh, you know who's with uh, president obama is slightly better and others uh, india continues to be a difficult difficult uh, year in 2009 there will be sectors doing much better much better than others i hope the auto sector will do better I hope uh, the economy improves so that commercial vehicle improves because that's directly dependent on the economy much more than personal vehicles like two-wheelers and cars. 
but the two wheelers are doing much better than before. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I think, as I said earlier, I think uh, the, for India, monsoons continue to be important. Mm-hmm. Uh, that depends on agricultural purchasing power and consumption. And, of course, the government. I mean, mm-hmm. it makes all the difference. And, uh, you know, you and I will be in a much better position to have a view on 17th or 18th or 19th. If it's very, very fractured, it could take longer. If it's not that fractured, we may have a government on the 20th. So a uh, lot will depend. I mean, if the left and people of that hue are more in command and determining policies, then whatever they may say, uh, my view is we'll have a very difficult time and for the, first, uh, for the next few months. Right. But if it is Congress which determines policies or BJP which determines policies, I know they are not going to be alone in power. There will be others. There will be compromises. There will be compromises. But if these two are in the lead position or a pole position, as people are talking about, then things will be right. hopefully better. Right.